Hey everyone, it's Dana from The Viewer. I thought I'd give you kind of a quick run through on what the new website is all about and kind of how it works. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, the website has a new web address. It is now designinfabricviewer.com. If you go to the original site of fabricviewer.com, it will forward you to this site. So you may want to update your bookmarks uh, whenever you can. Uh, next thing you have to do uh, once you get to the new site is create an account and you do that by coming right over here to the login button. You can also scroll to the bottom and do that as well. Uh, either one will work just fine and when you do this screen comes up uh, to create an account and here you just put your first and last name, your email and then whatever password you would like to use and click the create account button. You will get an email asking you to confirm your account. You must confirm your account before you can use the website. We have had a few bugs of uh, accounts that are not able to be confirmed. Um, we are working on that, but for the most part, um, all the accounts seem to be working properly with just the exception of a few. So hopefully we'll have that bug worked out very soon. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, next, once you create your account, let's log in. And as you can see, mine populates automatically. And then this is the screen that comes up when you first come into the uh, website. You can start with either selecting a pattern first or fabrics first. Uh, with the free account, you will still have three sections that you can compare fabric colors or one fabric color in different designs, however you want to do it. You can select each section individually by going here with section one, section two, or section three, or you can have it where all sections populate at once. So let's begin. I'm going to just do one here for now. Um, let me show you how this works. You select uh, an artist. If you would rather select a fabric first, you can. But I'm going to select an artist first. I'm going to use the newest one from Bella Filipina right here, uh, Amihan. And I would like it to populate in all of the boxes. So I'm going to click all over here and then notice it loaded in all three sections. And now I would like to see what colors fabrics uh, might look good with it. So now that I'm done selecting my pattern, I'm going to come over here and click on fabrics. Now, you, I have several hand-dyed fabric dyers in here. Uh, I'm also uploading standard fabrics, uh, the ones from Perman, uh, Wichelt, um, and whatever other company I can find out there once I get their permission. Uh, but for here, let's, let's concentrate on the hand dyers. Uh, I'm going to pick, um, let's see here, let's just go with Country Stitch uh, for the first one. I, do not want the color to show up in all three because that would defeat the point of this website. I just want to do uh, one section and I'm going to call it, uh, this looks good, Antarctic Storm. And it loads the fabric uh, with the image overlaid on top to kind of give you a rough idea of what it might look like. But I want to compare it with some other colors. Uh, let's come down here to Fabrics by Steph. And let's go with now second section. I'm just going to pick Ariel's Grotto. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that because I'm terrible at pronouncing words. And I like how that looks. Um, and let's just for giggles, let's compare it to something else. Let's go with Sparklies and put that in slot three. And let's say we'll go with this lovely uh, purple one called basically Bonkers. I love the name of that fabric. I don't know why it just cracks me up. And I see what I have. Now I, I'm thinking this might be too light. So ah, let's go back and change that to something different. Um, you can pick from any one of these in here. We can try Sweet Stash. Um, she has a pretty one called Blue Morpho. That might work. You know, it's really whatever you want. It's all about you and what you have picked. So that's how you do um, one design in three different colors. If you have, let's say you go into your stash and you say, oh, I have this great color, but I wonder what design would look good on it. Uh, we're going to clear everything out. So since we're under fabrics, I'm clearing all the fabric colors out right here. 
and notice all the fabric colors have disappeared. Let's go back to patterns. I want to clear all the patterns out and I come right here to this reload button and notice everything is now gone. So let's see, I have this beautiful fabric from Fiberlicious, Gwen and her beautiful things. Let's see what would look good on it. Um, let's try this one. And ambient fantasy. Now let's see what kind of fabric might look good with this. Um, let's come down here to cross stitching art. And we could pick anything you'd like. You know, something fancy. Um, and you know what? I forgot to load this color for all of them. So I went back here clicked on all and then clicked on the fabric again and now it populated in every section and let's go back to patterns let's try a chatelaine just for look sees and I'm going to pick for the second slot amber ocean lights oh that does look kind of cool um, you can really just pick anything you want Joan Elliott uh, we will put um, yeah, Let's try for section three, we'll try Enchanted Aurora. You know, just an idea of what you've got here. So, that's how the three sections work. Now, let's say you have a free account and you wanna save this color combination. Next to each section is a little heart. If you click on that heart, it will save this image and fabric combination to your account. If you have a free account, you can save up to three and refer to them at any time. By looking up here, when you first log in, you can go to your favorites and they come up. And all you have to do is click on them and they will show up in your account. Now let's talk about the different accounts real quick. Again, there's two different types. There's the free account, which I just explained to you. And then there's a paid account. Uh, if you're like me, I tend to have Stitcher's ADHD. Uh, I will have several images going at once while I'm looking for the absolute perfect color and design of fabric. So I like to have more than an option of three. And that brings us to the subscription model. If you have a subscription model, you can save up to 200 overlaid images into your account. I have several designs that I'm currently kitting up slowly but surely. And I always save fabric for last because I want it to be perfect. Uh, so you can save up to 200 for a paid account. Now let's say you want to upgrade your account. Go here into your profile and I'm sorry, missed that one. You can come down here for $5 a month and click on go to the shop. You can click buy now. And what this does is this sends me an email and I will send you an invoice for a monthly subscription of $5. Sorry about that. And for $5 a month, you can have up to 200 overlaid images saved to your account. Uh, another advantage to the paid account is the materials list. So when you load your images, I don't have all the material lists up yet, but I am working fervently on getting them up there. But a materials list is just what you see here. If you look under this one, Arabian Nights by Cross Stitching Art, you click on View Materials, it opens up into a new web browser, or excuse me, a new window. And let's say you're out and about on your lunch hour and you make a quick stop into Joann's because they have a sale going on on DMC. And lo and behold, all the colors you need are right there. Um, you can pick up, or if, you have a, if you're fortunate enough to have a uh, local needlework store, you can pick up your mill heel beads there as well as your Krynek in order to complete your design. So everything you need is right there. Um, some future endeavors that are happening to the viewer, because uh, this is just phase one. I've got four phases planned out. Phase two will be for those who have their own fabric, a large fabric stash. They've scanned their own images or taken pictures of them. And they're like, Dana, I want to use my own images because it doesn't look identical to what you have loaded in your website. And that's coming in phase two. You'll be able to use your own images of fabric to compare to a design that is in the viewer. Now, I've had several people ask me, well, why can't I upload 
designers that you don't have. That's a copyright issue. Uh, I would need to have the designer's permission before allowing you to do that. So for right now, the only images you can upload are your own fabrics uh, from whatever diary you choose to have. If you wish to load them in your account, that is going to be a paid account. Um, that'll be for phase two. I haven't priced that style account out yet. I'm still working on it. There will also be a phase three. Uh, it's, a, it's another subscription level um, that it'll be for those who not only wish to store and keep track of all their hand dyed fabric stash, it'll also be for those who want to keep track of the rest of their stash, the hand dyed fibers, be it cotton, be it silk. Uh, it can also be for what patterns you have in stock. That's going to be a very large upload. Uh, but that one will be phase three. Phase four can occur at any time, but I need to find an app master in order to do that. And I've been interviewing for an app master. It's very different from a webmaster for anybody who's technologically inclined um, to develop this into an iPhone and a Google app. So I'm, that one, still working on that one. Um, I think that takes care of everything today. Uh, one thing, a couple other things I do want to point out. Uh, images are all images on this website are used with permission. You will have noticed that some of the dyers are uh, from the original website are no longer available in the new website. That's because I never heard back. I tried calling some of them and I emailed all of them. Some just have not responded. So I'm taking that as a no and rather than uh, to get in trouble for using their sites without their permission. I've just removed them from the viewer. So until I hear something from them, um, those people are out. But for the majority of the dyers, they have returned to this viewer. I thank you very much. Um, something I really want to point out, this is a computer program. And as we all know with computers, computers can look very different than what is in real life. Uh, what you see on the computer screen will not match uh, perfectly to what you get in real life. It will be a very good estimate though. Um, and to give you an example of something that kind of has troubled stitchers, you can use the same dye on different fabrics and get completely different colors as shown under the fabric colors tab of the website. And thank you Stephanie for providing these images so many years ago. I think they're still valid. But looking at this color right here of a color called Autumn Splendor, same dye, everything's the same, but because the fabrics are different, each fabric takes dye differently. Um, Opal Belfast being a, a natural linen will just soak up color very well, whereas Joblin and Ada is a man-made fiber and it doesn't take uh, color as well. And you can see it here in these other colors as well. This is just something very important to remember. Some dyers provide images on Ada, Evenweave, and Linen, so you can see all three. Other dyers just provide Linen. Either one is fine. Just keep that in mind as you go through this website. Uh, another thing to remember when you pick your fabric, uh, as you can see, let's go back to fabrics here. Uh, this one was a fiberlicious fabric. So let's say you want to go to their website and you're like, well, wait a minute, I don't know what her website address is. Right here, if you click right here, this will take you to a new window and it will take you directly to a website where you can order the fabric directly from the dyer. So it's really just kind of all about you and what you wish uh, to do with your needlework. Um, and before I forget the search function, that is also available for paid accounts. It is not available for the free accounts. If uh, some people just love to stitch mermaids, so let's see what other kind of mermaids are in the website. I typed in the plural version of mermaids and this is what's come up. Anything that has the word mermaids in the title, it will show up up here. And oh, I didn't know this one existed. So let's see what this looks like. Um, now keep in mind, this was plural. If I just go back to singular, a whole lot more comes up, just something to remember as you think about this. So more and more websites or uh, more and more images are being loaded up to the website. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or not a call, excuse me, an email, dana.degroot69 at gmail.com. Uh, or you can 
reach me through uh, the Design and Fabric Viewer uh, at Dana dot, Dana at fab, Hope you have a great weekend and day, and I will talk to you later.